Hey YouTube, it's Dawson Rider here with a review of the Scorpion Zodiarts from Common Rider Forze. This is pretty, uh, not to say shocking, I was going to say that, I'm like, this isn't really shocking. A pretty unusual review just for the fact that uh, this is one of the only really, or possibly the first, uh, retail release uh, figure art villain, or at least uh, like a monster villain, not like a, you know, Shadow Moon type deal. Anyway, I don't know what I'm rambling about. Why didn't you guys just stop me earlier? So uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at the packaging because it's kind of unique and kind of neat. We have a lot bigger packaging than typical figure arts packaging. Uh, let me see, do I have one? Yes. Here we have Stronger's packaging. As you can see, it's around a typical figure art size. This one's roughly double, maybe a little bit more um, because of its uh, cape parts. So it's a lot bigger. Um, mainly black, you've got some constellation type deals all around it, which is really cool. And like a silhouette of Scorpion, it says Scorpion Zodiacs, Forze logo. You already saw its name on the side in the spoiler. There you go, all around. And then just a, pictures on the back of what it can do, and it's kind of in like these planet circles. and It's all around just kind of a neat packaging. Um, fits in well with the theme, the theme of the Zodiacs. So accessories wise, I pulled in the whole tray unnecessarily, even though it's got like four hands. You got fists, which you can't really see that well on her right now. But she's got fists, um, a pointing hand here, where she's like, I'ma get you, Gentaro. And then she's got like relaxed hands, where like, I'm not gonna get you right now, I'm busy, I got finals to grade. And then like another pointing hand, and some holding the switch hands here. And what switch am I talking about? Well, she comes with a Zodiart switch, but it's the wrong one. She's got a regular Zodiac switch, but she's a horoscope. Nice try, Bandai. Also, I yet again apologize, I haven't cut my fingernails yet. I keep forgetting. Okay, so now the main stuff she comes with, which is important to her, is her cape parts. So right here is the main body piece of her cape, which is two pieces, and I will be showing, putting these on soon. Uh, comedy possibly will ensue, depending on how much trouble I have. And then the sleeves here, which are also two parts. Uh, which we were separating, so we will get to experience that fun. Will we break it? I don't know, maybe. Um, so here, let's take a look at the figure. Uh, uh, actually, sculpt-wise, it is a really nice-looking figure. I actually really like it that way. Um, take a look at the head sculpt. The amount of detail on it is just really awesome. They did a great job on it. The face sculpt just looks really good. They did a good job on the paint. You kind of have this dark metally silver paint here which reminds me kind of of Megatron from the Transformers movies and then the gold paint and then like the little compound eyes up here and for the main eyes and it looks really good uh, all of the little sculpt details on the head are well done making it look like a scorpion uh, just really really nicely done and that continues down here obviously in the chest area you have this compound jewel on the chest and on the arms and all the sculpting details and colors are just done very well same as we go down to its arms and hands, you can see the individual sculpting details and the paint here as we get down to its little stingers um, and its her crotch here. Uh, same thing with the legs. I really enjoy like the, the white parts of it because it's got kind of almost an aged look, which looks good. We've got the feet down here. Uh, the back here also, oh, she's got a weird looking butt. Um, so you can see the back details here, got this little tail here. Um, but very, very nice sculpt. It looks really good. Articulation-wise, you have a 360 ball joint here. It is slightly hindered by this piece, but only ever so slightly, like when you come up here and they clash. Uh, swiveling at the arm, as usual. you got a double elbow joint. Uh, its fists can swivel. It's kind of hard to get in there and do it, but they can. And sometimes they're prone to coming off if you can't get them completely attached, because it's kind of difficult to switch them out sometimes because they're in this groove. Um, you do have some waist articulation here, and there is a little bit of leeway up at the chest, but it's a little bit blocked by the generalness of her design. Uh, 360 ball joint here on her leg, slightly hindered by these flaps, but they do give, so it's not that big of a deal. But compared to figures that don't have that, you are hindered a bit. Swiveling at the leg, uh, double knee joint. Um, you got foot swiveling, and its toe joint can come up. Not all the way, though, because she's like got safety here. She's like, I might sting myself if I'm flexing my feet. So that is cool. Um, no real loose joint problems. I mean, around the legs it does feel not loose, but it feels a little easy. That's what she said. Um, but uh, it just feels a little easy, but overall it's not loose. Like, I had some disappointments with, like, Uva figure arts and stuff where it was loose. Overall, very solid, um, which I'm pleased with. Now here, uh, something I'll mention, I guess, in the articulation factor is these little legs here, because her face, her whole face is basically like a scorpion. They all do move individually, um, like so. 
but they also can come out of their little sockets. So throughout the rest of the review, you may or may not see them pop out. Uh, I don't know about anybody else's. I didn't break it. I don't want people to be like, oh my god, you hand hands, stop buying figures. It, they're just a little loose. They're supposed to come out. They're on little joints. It's nice that they made them move, especially when you're trying to get around them. But the, only this side really I've had problems with have a tendency to come out a little bit and be loose, which is rather annoying. Um, I do did find, I think it's this one here, uh, part of the problem is the little sculpted white piece here is a little bit bigger, so it clashes with this piece here when you're trying to plug it in the hole, so it just kind of, it's like pushing against it. But that's just that one. But they are just generally loose on mine. I don't know about anybody else's. Um, so now uh, we're going to put on its glorious Zodiart's cape. So in order to do that, you need just to do a little bit of prep by pulling out the spikes on her arms. And then do that. That's an easy way to do it. Oh, fine, don't do it. You just slide these off and they actually, you can see they kind of uh, maneuver like this on their own and they slide off really easily. So take off both of her shoulders and it's pretty easy uh, prep. It's, I think they did a good job on that, keeping it pretty easy to stay on when you have it in this position, but also making it fairly easy to uh, <clears throat> remove. Sorry, I'm trying to get her to stand for a second so I can go over and grab this. Or not, I'll just hold her up. Okay, so for the arms, what you're going to want to do, is here's one of them, is lay her down. So I can show you. Separate it like this, and you're going to basically cup these around here. Um, and basically, you just line them up here, and snap on. There you go. Snap on. The snapper. I don't know where I was going with that. I really apologize about that. Whoops. I went that wrong way. Whoops. A lot of be a lot of oopsing in this will just be Miu. Or J uh, Jappe, like I call her. So just make sure they're all lined up. All right, you got the shoulders. Now this might take some maneuvering. I'll try to get the head up a little bit. So as you saw before, this is two pieces. So we're gonna wrap this around her. And try to line up the the uh, arms as best we can. And then come on, arms, get out of the way. Try to get the arms out of the way. Try to get her head positioned up a little more. And we're gonna snap this around her. Get the arms positioned just right. It takes a little bit of finagling so that the arms line up right. And to get her head right, um, there we go. I think I got that. Okay, so we pretty much got that. She looks like me in fifth grade when my mom would make me wear a winter coat to walk four steps into the school. I'm like, Mom, we're not even going to have recess. Why am I so bundled up? I'm walking four steps. Okay, that's a whole other issue. That's for another review about school stuff. Okay, but so you can finagle it a little bit better to get the arms better. Maybe snap this on a little better. Uh, also, you can... Well, I just unsnapped it. That wasn't good. Um, or you can, like, move the head up a little bit more uh, so that it looks a little more natural. I'm not going to mess with it too much more. Oh, I just unsnapped it at the bottom. Um, no, I'm not going to mess with it too much more, and then I had to be a perfectionist and fix this. Just because I don't want the head to mess up, because there's times when I'm... Damn it! When I'm messing with this, and, like, I'll easily get the... Uh, <clears throat> Whatchamacallits, the little scorpion legs that come off. Come on. Okay, so she's fairly secure right now, so let's just get her to stand. And so we can, she can stand over here so she can get she can get reviewed. Final verdict fied. So overall, this is a pretty solid for release for me. Um, I have a few problems with the design of the way the cape goes on. It being solid plastic, and you have to do all these different steps to get it on. And it's just... A little annoying. It's not like awful, but it's kind of annoying to the point where I wish they could have designed it a little better somehow. Maybe made it out of a flexible material. Not really sure what I want, but I just think it was a little annoying. Um, and then there are that slight issue with the um, antenna or the antennas, the legs here falling off, which could just be mine, but that means there's probably a handful out there. So just some minor issues, but overall the figure itself is pretty decent. I mean, it's got the good articulation of all figure arts, it's got some really nice sculpting details and paint, and it looks pretty cool overall. So I'm overall pretty pleased with it. So if you really like the design of these guys, I can pretty much recommend it. I mean, there's just some really minor issues to deal with from keeping you getting a pretty solid villain figure. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty solid. Um, and just for reference, for those of you watching this, this will probably be one of the only Zodiarts I'm getting. I'm not planning on getting any of the exclusive ones that have been announced right now because I don't like Forze and I don't want them taking up more space in my collection. The only other one I will probably be getting is Pisces or Piscas. 
because Japan. Um, because that's my zodiac sign, so I feel like I have to get it, even though it was a girl. But so, unless they plan another retail release, I'm only getting this one. I only bought this one because I have a contract that says I get all retail releases. I just ramble about stuff you probably don't care about. But overall, solid figure. I enjoy it. Uh, if you decide to pick it up, I don't think you'd be too disappointed. Really, just some minor complaints out of this one. So until next time, make sure you check out RidersRangersRambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible. Until next time, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.